Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're not going to be reviewing any of these items, but these items are what yet yeah, they take borrow tanks or these are borrow devices. Obviously we have the billet box. This is where it all kicked off. We have the billet box, we have a Delro, we have a box. Yes, all these devices take things like this. This is a borrow tank. This is um yeah, you may have seen this before, uh, but basically these things, they're a certain shape and size and they fit inside these devices. Uh, they usually hold about four, between four and five mil of juice. You can have like this one here, the KO, which is by myself in Van and Dell, uh, is a rebuildable atomizer, which is its own borrow tank size, if you like. And you also get the borrow tank, which you can fit an RBA inside or a pre-made coil, you know, using a bridge. So this is the this is the usual world when it comes to billet boxes and borrow tanks. And then along came Hellfire. This is the Hellfire Moab, and I got this from uh, around about kind of way through um, Vapor Bay UK. Uh, you can also get them direct from Hellfire if you keep an eye on the website. They start from about £426, depending on the version that you go for. When I say the version you go for, the one you're looking at here, this is the engraved skull edition. This is the skulls edition. You can see it's all engraved around here with the, the Hellfire logo. Uh, I think this was about £500 if bought from Vapor Bay. Well, that's what I paid for it. Um, you can get a diamond one. There's uh, the FU one as well. Uh, and they will have different designs around here where you see the skulls are. The only thing is, the tank will remain flush like this. You can buy other tanks, different designs and so on, but we'll come back to that in a bit. Now, the thing here is, uh, and if I just take out my little uh, 510 adapter here, excuse me while I just get my fingers on that, I knew I shouldn't have put this back in here, bumbling idiot, uh, but this is what we have here. This is an AIO. This is not, not a borrow tank device. The difference with the Moab is that if you look at this here, with a borrow tank, that fits in a billet box. Doesn't go in here. You need this. And this is obviously bespoke. This is Hellfire's own design. This holds between eight and eight and a half mil of juice. Obviously, it's going to depend what bridge you put inside here, uh, but it holds a, a shit ton of juice. It really does. It's pretty insane. And this, for me, is the standout feature of this device, is the fact that it holds so much juice. Uh, I will say here at this point, and once again, we'll talk about this later, the tank that comes with it this one here will only take certain types of bridges. Things like the bridged, you know, or the vape shell, rectangular bridges and so on, don't fit in this. You have to buy, I think it's called a bridged version of this tank, and it will probably cost you about another 50 pounds to, to grab, a ver you know, that version of this tank. So the tank that comes with it is only going to fit uh, round or, or, or bridges like this. Um, it will not fit the bridged or the vape shell. Yeah, won't fit them. Also, uh, listen, if I get anything wrong here, uh, put something in the comments. Be, feel free to sort me out, put, you know, give the right information. I'm going off what I found online or what my, you know, what I think is right. But uh, if you know better or if you have the correct information, then please leave it in the comments below because it'll help somebody else out. Now, you'll probably want to know sizes on this one. And excuse me while I get my juicy fingerprints all over this thing. But uh, I start for 10. Here we go. There it is next to, and see, I've got juice over everything. There it is next to a billet box. It is slightly shorter. And there we go with the sizes. It is 
a lot more comfortable in a billet box. I'll, I'll give them that straight out. Uh, it, it's, it's yes, a lot more comfortable in the hand than a billet box. There it is next to a Delro, and there we are next to an Aspire box, which is, yeah, quite a bit heavier. Just throwing it on the scales and without a battery or anything in it, uh, no juice, it's about 123, 124 grams I make it out to be. So we've covered the tank, the tank just pushes in and out and it's actually locked into place by this little guy here. You just thread that down in here. And I know people are going to be asking, is this uh, billet box uh, threading? No, it's not. It's completely different threading to a billet box, but it'll take any 510 drip tip in the top. Uh, they also do their own hybrid drip tips. Um, the tank, you'll not get a, a borrow tank in here doesn't work like that it's not for borrow tanks but you can get all your bridges and whatnot will fit in here or yeah certain ones will the body's delrin so we've got delrin here we've got a strip of stainless steel going round here stainless steel at the top and bottom which is 304 grade stainless steel we have titanium buttons on the front firing button here up and down buttons here these are titanium once again we've got a viewing window for our tank which is a mineral glass this is where your airflow comes in and you have to remove the tank there's the battery cap you have to remove the tank if you want to fill this with juice uh, I, i'll be straight up i i wish i could fill it without removing it but apparently there was a poll in the hellfire group facebook group and all the people that were interested in buying one of these uh, they all voted and the vote came out so that uh, you had to remove the tank to fill it because it was a cleaner look i do believe so the tank just comes out like that slide this to one side and you'll see you've got a fill hole here and an air release hole and it's straightforward really really easy and it's no big deal as such it's just yeah it's just me being a grumpy old shite we do have a, a data port which is here uh, you cannot charge the battery internally this takes a single 18650 but you can connect it to eScribe DNA 60 board on the bottom uh, and I wish there was a Hellfire theme on it. It just comes, it's just a standard DNA 60 theme, but I wish they put their own little logo on it or something. Uh, in here, it almost looks like a keystone contact down the bottom there, but uh, the battery goes positive down like that. Uh, we do have an indicator on here, and this is so easy. I mean, you just push, twist, done. That's it. No rattle, no nothing. You want to change your battery, just twist, there you go. It, it, it's it's very very simple and uh, it just works. Uh, it just works. So yeah, I kind of like that. And even the machining marks in there are, as always, by design. Excuse the fact that it's covered in fingerprints and whatnot, but it is kind of pretty. Yes, um, I do wish, and I'll say this now, uh, that once again I said there were different additions, I wish that if you bought the Skull edition, that it came with the Skull tank. I think that's my personal opinion, I think that's a bit of an oversight. Um, also, you can buy a skull tank. You can go out and buy a skull tank uh, so it'll have the, all the skulls engraved in there but the photos I've seen the the pattern doesn't match which I find very very strange um, and that would be a criticism criticism again on my part is, is that I think you know this repeat this pattern here should flow over this tank when you're buying it from new. So there we go we also have uh, on the back here you know we've got the uh, air uh, for your battery and that is about it for the the body and up close and uh, we're going to pop the tank out and have a good look at that now so push blink out she comes just like that so we have this piece on the top here it does turn it turns like that so that's that's kind of like in the, the lock position here and then if i turn it back it does get when it's bone dry it's kind of tight uh, so I'm just going to straighten that up so it's a bit like that and then I can usually I can get in here and pull this out oh there we go so all I'm going to do is grab my 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 moob uh, and I'm just going to drop this in here push her down there she goes she's in place 
got that in there, that's like that. Pop this back in, helps if I line up the right way. Pop it back in, you will go in. Oh yes, you will. Uh, there we go, like that. Give it a little twist, it's gonna lock into place. And then I'm ready to fill up and ready to go. So I'll just pop that back off here like that. Fill this up with juice, close that off. Uh, if you're wanting to take the glass out, uh, when it's in bits, push the, the glass from behind. Um, this little bit here is just to hold the glass in place, but you push it out from inside the tank and it'll come out, but I've not bothered doing that, but that was just information I got off of the Facebook group. Now you're thinking, I'm just gonna push this back in here, and, and this is, I made this mistake when I, I got this for the first time and I, I set it up and I hadn't watched any videos or anything, uh, but, if I try pushing this in just now, you can see that the, the, the 510 positive pin on the bottom there, it's actually going to hit off of the base. So that's not good. So what you do is just give it a, a little push up. You know, I can set the tank down on a flat surface and just push down, make sure it's sliding backwards and forwards there. That way I know when I slide the tank in, it's not going to scratch anything. But I know now that, you know, when I screw this down, it's going to put pressure on the top of the bridge and it will take up any gap and it will, you know, complete the contact. Uh, the only thing is, is that I have noticed sometimes that when I, I push this back out after tightening this down, it has made a little bit of a line on the base, you know, the delrin at the bottom here. And yeah, that kind of niggles me a little bit. I'm not saying it happens every time. It's just, um, yeah, it's, it's just one of these things that just seems to happen. And I've seen other people in the Facebook group being caught out by it as well. So I've screwed that down. Uh, even with that screwed down, it, it's not sitting completely flush. You know, there's a lip on that. Uh, I tried it with the Zeta and, and it sat exactly the same with the Zeta. You know, it was raised, it wasn't flush. I don't know if that's by design or not. I've not checked with anybody else, but uh, I'm just gonna pop a little drip tip on here and uh, and there we go. Uh, obviously, I'm just gonna push the firing button. DNA 60, a little test fire. But just before we go back up top, one quick look back round. Remember, this is a special edition one. This one, they don't all come like this with the, the logo on it. Let's record this again. I went off on a tangent the first time I started recording this. The Hellfire Moab. Once again, uh, you buy this from their site, the Hellfire website. Uh, there was a pre-order, it goes up on there. Uh, it starts from about 400 and let's just say 430, okay? 430 pounds, depending on the version you go for. And you can get just plain, you get diamonds, you get the FU edition, you get the, the skulls, the, you know, they're all different, but they all come with just a plain door like that. So, that, you know, the design's gonna be on here. And there are colored ones as well, if I remember right. Um, so, this for me was 500 pounds from Vapor Bay. Vapor Bay also have them. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive from Vapor Bay because obviously they have to make some money. Um, you also have extras. So you can buy different tanks as well. You can get one tanks with Hellfire logos on them or the FU editions, you know, you can get the skulls on them and whatnot. There's lots of optional extras as well. Um, now, here we go. As I said in the close-ups, I'm, I'm going to start off with my... These, these are my opinions from my viewpoint, which may or may, you may or may not agree with, but um, yeah, it's just the way I see things. And uh, if you disagree, or if you think I'm wrong, then feel free to comment and, uh, and tell me why I'm wrong. But this is what I don't like. Um, the tank that comes with it, you can only fit certain bridges inside it. Like, or RBAs. You cannot, you know, you're not going to fit rectangular tanks. There is a, is it Bridged? A Bridged version, uh, which you'll then be able to fit the rectangular RBAs. You can fit anything in that one, but it's going to cost you about £50. So, if you want to a tank that will fit 
all the rebuildables and bridges in, you have to then go and spend another £50 to get that. Now, I appreciate the fact that they're running a business, they're trying to make money, I don't have an issue with that at all. I don't know what the reasoning for releasing that at a later date, maybe they didn't Maybe they didn't realise when they, they first came out with this that uh, you had to have, you know, be able to fit a shell and, and things like that in it. But either way, I'm pointing it out to you that the tank that it comes with doesn't fit everything. If you want the tank that fits everything, it's going to cost you another £50 on top of what you spend here. That's, that's a con for me. I'm going to put that in the con category. The other con that I have for me is that if you go for an addition like this, if I want the skull tank, I think it's about another £50, I have to buy a, a skull tank edition, but the skull motif doesn't line up with the skull pattern on here and that messes with my head, the fact that it's different. Um, also, for me, I'm not a huge fan of the, the way that when it comes, you know, they've got this... It doesn't flow. There's no flow for me. But that's personal taste. Uh, that's personal taste. Other people love it. I, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, another one is when I push the fire button, I tend to go over the airflow sometimes. Uh, that's just me being an idiot. Uh, the more I use it, the less and less I do that. Um, other cons, negatives, uh, some people might not like the fact they can't charge their batteries with a USB port. Nah, I don't mind uh, because I would always say you shouldn't. Uh, but you can connect it to eScribe using the USB port. Um, other things, um, neg I'm, I'm sticking with negatives here just now. Be careful when you're putting your bridge inside the tank and you're pushing it back inside the mod. Um, Take the tank, put the bridge in it, put it down on a flat surface, push it down and make sure that there's it's not protruding. That way it's not going to damage inside your mod. Very, very careful on that one. Um, that is about it on the negative front for me. That really is. Um, I don't actually have an issue with the fact that it's not the same threading as a billet box. It doesn't take a borrow tank, it's not a borrow device. It, it's not. It's Hellfire's own AIO or all-in-one. And, and that's fine. They've gone out and done their own thing. They've designed their own thing. That's what Hellfire do. That's what they're renowned for. So good for them. The fact that it holds so much juice, superb. I uh, absolutely love that aspect of it. Uh, filling it's no problem. The other niggle I forgot to mention is the fact that I have to remove the tank to fill it. That is a bugbear for me, personally, uh, but I do appreciate the fact that they asked their audience in the Facebook group, they had a vote, and the common consensus was that um, they wanted it to be cleaner on the front, so the fill mechanism was moved internally, so you have to remove the tank. That's just the way it is. Uh, but yeah, coming down to the things I like, it's very comfortable, very comfortable. It's more comfortable than a billet box, it's more comfortable than the Delro, and the Delro has been my daily carry for two years now, over two years, and so uh, I, I'm still saying this is more comfortable to hold than a Delro. Um, other positives, machining wise, it's it's a hellfire. It's about as good a compliment as I could give anything. Uh, the machining is absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely on it. Everything goes together well and it's pretty damn smart. It really is. Um, it has some of the drawbacks of a, a borrow tank in that, you know, you have to remove the juice to take your bridge out and things like that. Uh, um, that's really it. I'm going to stop there uh, because Whilst I do have cons for this device, the pros are Hellfire, which is speaks for itself. Machining, um, and, and so it's very, very good. And I 
I do like the mod a lot. I, I do like the mod a lot. I think if it's almost like um, changing ecosystems, if you like, or changing phones, going from Apple to iPods, uh, Apple to Android, PC to Mac, it's, it's you're almost jumping ship if you leave the borrow world behind. But you're not entirely because you're still able to take the bridges and everything from the borrow tank world into the hellfire world. So it's not, you're not going complete turkey. You're not losing all the things that you've bought already. Um, but it's a different tank system. That's it. Uh, there we go for the Moab. You can get it when it goes up on the Hellfire website. Um, Vapor Bay in the UK do get them periodically, so you can get them from there. They will be a little bit more expensive. Uh, all the spares are on the Hellfire site. Vapor Bay do get accessories in there as well. And I think that's about it. That's all I've got for you on the Moab. And also a thank you to a lovely lady that helped me out greatly on getting a hold of this. You're a diamond, you really are know who you are uh, but but that's it so until next time bye for now